15th October, the day we celebrate the birth anniversary of uh, APJ Kalam, remembering his uh, outstanding contribution to the growth of India and, and uh, his never ending and powerful encouragement to the youngsters and youth for bringing a better future. I am Moaz Hussain with our guest, Professor Elangowan, ex scientist of ISRO and uh, Professor of KCG College of Technology. Uh, on this occasion of uh, G2G, Jagreen, Webinar webinar by Team 2020 Helpers. Kalam Sir once said, I visualize a scene in the year of 2021 when I will be 90 years old and visiting the Sri Harikota spaceport for boarding the space plane so that I can reach another planet and return back safely as one of the passengers. So uh, this was words from the speech of uh, 2003. And, and this was uh, a lighter but visionary note about the space exploration. Although uh, in 1971, humankind witnessed the successful attempt of Soviet Union with cosmonaut uh, Yuri Gagarin uh, to cross into outer space, today India is also developing the first indigenous human space flight mission, Gaganyaan. So uh, without taking much of your time, uh, I hope uh, our speaker will be covering all these all this things in his uh, speech. And uh, I would like to request Professor Elangowan to uh, take over the session, please, sir. Yeah, thank you. So I will, uh, will start the topic. Gagarian to Gagarian to Gagarian, or Gagarian to Gagarian, right? So uh, I can say equal Kalama say Gagarian, right? <laughs> Wait, it is. Of course, all the other windows are open. Hmm. Gagarin, how they are connected? From Gagarin to Gaganyan, who are the astronauts? What are the type of uh, astronauts? Classification and their uh, adventures in space? will be discussed in this PowerPoint, in the presentation. So there are four kinds of exploration. One is telescopic, another is uh, robotic, which we are doing in the Mars, and human exploration. Human exploration is directly reaching to the planet or moon, and they explore a human being. So the, we can classify yeah, astronauts into two or three. Uh, two clarification which has modern old age and old age are early astronauts and, and the modern astronauts. Okay. What is an astronaut? First, the definition of the astronaut is it comes from the word. It comes from the Greek word, universe and sailor. What is astronaut? Astronaut is, comes from the word, universe and sailor. It is a Greek word. Asana it is for years. It is for US and Canada, Europe and Japan, 
they are it is called astronaut for a russia it is cosmonaut and for a china it is deconaut this is a classification but all are meaning the people going to space first we will see it is not a pleasant experience to go to the space you may become famous but but the problems in space is too much let us see a small look up of what are the problems in space first is the radiation right it is a radiation sickness it will create radiation sickness radiation from cosmic solar there are two type of radiation cosmic radiation and solar type radiation solar radiations are coming from wind flare and the uh, solar winds so it will create a sickness uh, we need medicine monitoring and radiation shielding without that you cannot go out because in the earth uh, atmosphere is the shielding but in the space there is no shielding you have to create yourself another is isolation you are away from earth which is very used to uh, used to you from your birth is is the earth so you are away from the earth so your isolation you may be alone for uh, one year scott scully for example the astronaut was there one year in space so the isolation also will kill you next is the distance right you are risk of being far from the earth any time any imbalance any gravity force upset you will be throw away uh, into the space another another one is a gravity you will be in micro gravity so you will be weightlessness the weightlessness the things are different uh, water will uh, water will not pour into your mouth it will float like a drop another one is another two is gravity and environment this will be uh, automatically will uh, as well so as not job is not here easy one as you are sitting it have a lot of hazards but it, uh, it will bone mass will come down you have sleep only 6 hours you will subject to radiation and it will reshape the heart that means there will more uh, blood will flow to your face than you are lack so in turn your uh, face is called as buggy face and uh, your leg will become a bad leg that means b a r d like a bad your leg will be small because of the circulation of the brain more because in the gravity your blood will used to pass down so uniformly but there in, there is no gravity so all your body flow, fluid will go up in with all the things there are some people who made a history in the who made a history by going to space that is the first man in space is yuri gagarin the first man in space when we when he was not 1961 almost 60 years back 60 years over and he is the first man for round the world right he is the first man for round the world for one north thing so he has became world famous by rounding for 90 minutes that that's all his first flight was of one or eight minutes with the one or eight minutes he round the world and became world famous that is the first man to round the earth so the astronauts can be grouped into various uh, type of astronauts so we see first cosmonauts that means they are from russia they are vostok vostok and these are the models they used to round it the first man yuri gagarin used vostok so like that then comes from us mercury astronauts gemini astronauts then moon and apollo who landed at the moon by apollo vehicle is a astronaut Space Shuttle and ISS. Those people who went to there are some astronauts who went to uh, International Space Station by through Space Shuttle. Not only astronaut, cosmonaut also went. There is Soviet ISS astronauts. So Soviet vehicle has uh, taken American uh, astronauts to the International Space Station. So the flow was more. More people start going to the space, or they became astronaut qualification mainly International Space Station. the right and go in the lab which is rounding the earth around some 450 km away is the international space station so going there uh, almost is a low earth target through the vehicle it was by space shuttle once when the space shuttle stopped so it was taking care now there is a new but now vehicles start coming after 2011 that is so is that is spacex as a lot and chinese as well so they develop their own vehicle and start going to the to space not to the iss and and boeing boeing also a contractor for nasa pilot to spacex they are they are also developing they are also sending as well to the iss they are yet to prove 
SpaceX has already proved by Crew Dragon, right? You know that not or Dragon DM1, DM2. They have sent already a snort to the International Space Station that proved their contract with the NASA. Meanwhile, there is a, another uh, suborbital flight, Blue Origin. It started sending us a they, they are the latest. Even now, today also, a Star Trek crew has gone to gone by, uh, gone by Blue Origin Beijing. That by Jeff Bezos of Amesa. Then SpaceX is planning to uh, send people to Mars and Moon. Right? And the Artemis program by to SLS vehicle, they are going to Moon and Mars. So these kind, these many astronauts are there. Apart from that, there is a Skylab astronaut, Middle Lab astronaut, and a Chinese space station astronauts are also there. So these kind of astronauts will one by one will see uh, one by one will see them. The first astronauts are Yuri Gagarin and later Alan Shepard. But Yuri Gagarin is around the trip. Alan Shepard is a suborbiter. So who is Yuri Gagarin? Yuri Gagarin is a small foundry man. Right? He was a, a pilot in the Air Force. He's a very good pilot. And at the age of 27, he started uh, around in the year. The time in space was 1 hour 48 minutes, that is 1 hour 8 minutes. That's all. In his life, he, uh, he has spent in space 1 hour 8 minutes and became world famous. Right. So this was uh, this one. And Yuri Gagarin. And this is a, uh, you can see how it went, because the idea was, uh, because uh, we don't know what is the effect of microgravity at those times. So, the uh, didn't any control to the Yuri Gagarin. Actually, the complete uh, space car was controlled from the ground. You can see, this is a position, and you can see the Earth through this lens. That's all, as a passenger, he went and come back. These are light supporting system under the space car. Here, it is just one or eight minutes only. So, not a big one, but... That is the first one, right? So he round the orbit the end and come down. You can see, but the end, it, uh, your, uh, this vehicle was traveling around 17,500 miles per hour, right? That is the speed you were necessary to orbit. So because of the speed, it is achieved. Eh? 17,500 kilometer speed, we can send a spacecraft. Our technology is proven. And 203 kilometers uh, miles away, he was orbiting the Earth. This was the peak. But the end of the peak, he didn't land on the, in the uh, capsule. He didn't land on, he didn't land. He made a parachute and dived and landed back. Because of this, since he has not, it's a one-way trip type, right, the capsule, but from the capsule he escaped and through the parachute is landed. Somebody, I think this is not an achievement. Okay. It is, it is, somebody says, arguing, this is not achievement. But still, whatever there, it is an achievement. And we week back, before Gagarin, what is first event of the orbit the Earth is, a vast of three k, a dummy, and another dog, it was sent, and checked out, and whether the things are okay. Then only, uh, Yuri Gagarin went second. Like that only, Gagarin also we are going to plan, we are sending a Unai first for two flights, and the third will be by uh, human being, pilots. So he was, uh, Gagarin was from the Sochi 6. The six group of astronauts were uh, selected. And uh, like NASA had the Mercury 7, Soviet had selected six people to, uh, to operate the Vostok 1, to go in the Vostok 1. But he needed to operate. All the things were taken control by this. Only he had to go around. And even though override manual key was given, he didn't use that completely controlled flight. Yeah, the man in the outer space is became a, a Columbus of the cosmos, right? He became famous because and he was respected. And the lodging place also secret. They sold Baikano in Kazakhstan, but it is not Bairagun. It is the Airat uh, railway station, and it is uh, so it was kept very secret. Where he is, uh, where he was launched, but he was respected more wherever he has launched. Even uh, whenever there was a failure, uh, whenever there, there was a division in the USSR, the people respected him. Other other statues of the leaders of the other statues of the leaders were demolished, but Gagarin's statue was not 
uh, it went untouched. So there is a respect he was having in the years itself. And he, he was in the beginning, he was a Euro club man. He was interested in space and planets. He was a Euro club and learned to fly on aircraft. He was a pilot. Then only this is a condition he was selected for as a first space flight. Uh, remember, the capsule was uh, designed. The Vostok was a spherical capsule. The CG variation is second gap. But what is not taken care is it is not designed to return to Earth. Right? You have to jump and get down only. It will not make you safe land. So it is like a one way. Right? And it was not outfit thruster. There is no uh, retro thrusters were not there. This kind of technologies are not there. Retro thruster will slow down. Right? And is to save you. To reduce your speed and uh, ensure your safety landing. So that is also not there. So this is the condition the first man to orbit the air successfully. But he was a he was not an achievement. Somebody was telling as he explained. And he, uh, from the uh, from the spacecraft, he saw he circled the Earth once, but he was very excellent. He saw rivers and poles in the terrain. Uh, it was very beautiful. Weightlessness is that very pleasant experience. At the time, we had one or eight minutes. So he was we gave a uh, orbiting the Earth in the space, a very beautiful our planet. So don't destroy. This is his uh, message to all the human beings. And he became a national asset. He was not allowed to play, play uh, no more. But see, you can see this was one of the procession after he, when he went to England. At that time, Winston Churchill was the prime minister. You can see the crowd, one girl in the white scarf. He is nothing but a prime minister's daughter. So in the crowd, she was one of the crowd in there, even a prime minister's daughter is in the crowd. See, we cannot imagine in India. So that was the great. But anyhow, Yuri Gagarin, after Vostok one. The following flight, 1963, he became the deputy to the Soviet Union, deputy training director of the Cosmo Training Facility, and he got award. And 1927, March 1968, he was from the Czechoslovakia Air Base. He went for a routine flight, and he was crashed. So 1961, hero of the Soviet Union. 1960, order of all the things were given, and in a very short day, 34 years. He died in a year class. That is the end of a hero. But anyhow, it's a uh, so to remember it, when when moon when the Neil Armstrong went to moon and landed on the moon, he left a memorandum of memory of Yuri Gagarin. Uh, he left a memorandum on the moon. It, you can see it is signed by Mercury astronaut John Flynn, who was a man for the first two years who orbited the earth. We are going to be, uh, talk about him, and it is signed by uh, Neil Armstrong. This is a memo given, placed in the moon. Right. Then second man went by subordinate. His name is German. Sorry, he's a German about Tito in short. He's the youngest man who roamed the earth. After Yuri Gagarin, he's the second man to go. Everybody remember the first man, not the second. But he was the youngest man. Uh, still there. Blue origin went for here. In the 16 went for here. A subordinate fight. He's the youngest cosmonaut or astronaut who have gone to gone to space so far. He has a record. So like that, a lot of records were being done. So a lot of uh, technology is developed. And it mainly it is all the credit goes to the designer of the rocket and who took the first Yuri Gagar into the space is uh, is Kuralov, Sergi Kuralov. He was called as Sergi Kuralov. But a very interesting thing and a fascinating thing is he was in jail. He, was in jail. he has to come out of the jail and launch the uh, Launch the rocket and go, uh, and used to go. So he is the designer of the rocket which took the uh, first scooter and the first man, first two man around the space. Right, you can see with the Yuri Gagarin and his photograph in the space. And this is a vehicle he designed. You can see that. So this is called Seri Jigoro, eh? small uh, you know, the designer. Anyway, we are not worrying about the uh, launch vehicle. This is the launch vehicle he designed. So yes, he is still in operation. It is still taking the cosmonauts to the International Space Station. And it helped the uh, American also take the astronaut to the uh, space station. So, so yes, it's a vehicle you design. Anyhow, we are not concerned on vehicle. So as a return answer, uh, America has a return answer. They have selected seven people. That's called Mercury 7 and it's called Wright Sub. Uh, these are the Mercury. And these are the vehicles which are designed all the seven people travel by one by one. So one people can only travel in the Mercury capsule. This is the Mercury capsule. What you are doing is that. Mercury capsule, this is class which is going to 
take them to, to come them to the space. So there are seven people, right? They're like a rainbow. There are seven people. Each seven has a history, and they are the long-time runner of the, a long-time astronauts of the Indian astronaut history. So who, who are they? We will see one by one. So all these are the vehicle. Freedom Seven is the first vehicle to the first American, eh? first American astronaut to the space is Freedom Seven. Right, that you took each one in one vehicle. Right, Aurora and Sigma and Faith. So it will come always to the seven, because seven people are there. So you can see him in a very good. Eh? Chrisam, his name is Chrisam, Shepard, Carpenter, Sachida, Slayton, Robert Green. Eh? He is a very important man, Green. Green and Copper in 1962, you can see that. He's the Alan Shepard. He was sent in the first American to the space. You can see all the people went in Green and all the uh, rocket is called as Seven. It will end with Seven. To remember them. So, first man, first American, first astronaut in space is Alan Shepard. Right? 1923 to 1998, 74 years old, he died. He's a Bachelor of Science. And he also he was in the Naval Academy. He was an admiral, United States Navy. He spent time only nine days and 57 minutes total. Not only by Mercury, he is a man who went by Mercury as well as Apollo 14 letter. And there was a good, uh, he was a man who is the first American, but his time was suborbital. What is orbital and suborbital? You can see this is suborbital. This is rounding the earth, this is the orbital. It is that thing. But what is the difference? The altitude orbital flight you have to go to up to 150 miles. And your speed must be minimum speed must be 17,500 miles per hour. But suborbital flight is only 62 miles around 100 kilometers. That's how I count. If you cross 100 kilometers, you are a space, you are a astronaut, you are a spaceman. So 62 miles, but uh, 20, uh, 2,500 miles per hour is enough. Okay. So that is called the suborbital. What Alan Shepard did is suborbital. But there comes a man. And the, again, it was a big feat, the first American in space. Even though five minutes, you are a very short time in the space. So five minutes only, comparing the Yuri Gagarin, one or ten minutes. So to learn Shepard only, suborbital flight, you can see that uh, our uh, Blue Origin, uh, they have sent the, uh, the name to the uh, name to the vehicle against his name as New Shepard, which is a suborbital. You can see the next, uh, next uh, is a suborbital. So they have named Alan Shepard name in this for the vehicle because it is also a suborbital. That's why the old one is a new Shepard. Right, then who are the who orbiter the here? And again, one more worked at Sachira. These are the astronauts in the Mercury 7 who went by all the programs, Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. All three programs. He is another uh, another one of seven. The Bill Christian. The gas kirsam is a cat. Uh, it was the first accident. It was a safety. First about to be an accident. Uh, he is a uh, ship drowned in the sea. Uh, but it, uh, it recovered after some. But uh, he escaped. But it is recovered after the 19 It was 1990. See that 1963. Uh, after some uh, 36 years, 35 years, they recovered. Uh, he is a uh, which, uh, which went down. But the real hero is John Clint. Who is the first man who orbited thrice? Uh, yes, he is the first man who have orbited the Earth in 1998 at the seven But still, after this also, he was uh, he started his career with two uh, two back uh, two handicap. One, he doesn't have a college degree, and second one, he was considered an old man at 37. Yeah, you see, 20, Yuri Gagarin is 27. John Clean is the first man who observed the Earth is 37. He considered to be old, and he was not called for astronaut selection. But he went as an observer along with his friend. His friend was not selected, so he became the astronaut. He, uh, he went and requested him to check him. They found he is eligible, so he was became the astronaut. John Clean is the man first to photograph the Earth, and he is uh, And after we want to see that after 1977 again 97. He went very subtle also at the age of 77. This is at the age of 77. Right? At the age of 77, he has went by uh, space shuttle. This is when he went by Mercury. Right? When he was 34. And another one important is he became the politician uh, after the Mexican Hasulan. 
So all the things he is the one of the world of the after Nei Nam Sam, after Yuri Kishari, we have to remember him. Eh? He went and that is the reason why he was a simple word. He is named after New Clean. Eh? He was a blue origin racket. He is named after him, Blue Clean. Because he has given his name to him, Blue Clean. So next comes the Jimny Asana. So Jimny is the next vehicle after Mercury. Here two people can go. That is the difference between the Jimny and this one. It also went a lot of uh, technical problem and it, uh, it is successfully and it has then a biggest uh, advantage EVA that means extra vehicular activity right there is a EVA to uh, it made him uh, walk he is the first uh, Germany vehicle the Edward White he is uh, the first American to walk in June 3 1965 but just three months before uh, a Russian cosmonaut had walked on the first space he is the first space walk so uh, everything is being celebrated, top of the world, and is a uh, and the Germany only two space of meet in the space. This is one of the another another maneuver. It was then two uh, two, uh, two space of meet in the space. That also given by Jimmy. Kim. So the person who did Jim Law is another uh, man. He was uh, he was went in Germany twice, and he is went in Apollo eight and Apollo thirteen. He is the first man to orbit the moon. Remember. The first man to land on the moon is Neil Armstrong. But who orbit the yet first uh, moon is? It is Jim Lord. And it's Apollo 13. There was a good story we will discuss when we discuss Apollo also. So he was in Germany. You can see the man who is showing is a Yuri He's a Neil Armstrong. Eh? He is practicing. Germany testing place for Apollo. So Germany vehicle only, all, almost all the famous, other famous astronauts have taken their training. Lot of adventures, maneuvers have been done. That was the Germany as uh, as not the seven people. Meanwhile, Russia is going where Valentina Tereskova, first two men in space. On six uh, years in, uh, you are 1963. Because it's a space, woman space uh, is a common topic now. We will talk about that so later in day. It's called Yuri Gagarin in sky. Right. Yuri Gagarin is good. He is from a very low, uh, very poor family, but he was a patient of skydiving. Uh, he was practicing skydiving even though he was very poor. And when port, he was selected out of port 20 applications, which came uh, for the selection. He was selected out of port 20 applications uh, and he was given a chance to, to go as a first man in space. He was supposed to uh, American, sorry, uh, a primer. Uh, Premier of Russia, and uh, actually he was very close to Yuri Gagarin also, and he was having two problems. You can see he was very close. You can see that uh, along Yuri Gagarin and Yuri Gagarin and the Lenin mission. You can see these two people and he is the Premier. So he also these people voted for him to be a cosmonaut. The Prime Minister has to vote uh, which which cosmonaut has been selected, and Yuri Gagarin was a trainer and mentor. He also voted for him. So, but in the flight he has a two problems. What is one problem is in the personal kit there is no brush. Only paste was there. So with the fear and the paste and the water, he managed the situation. Not a big problem. But his software, again, like a Yuri Gagarin, which is not designed to return back. This is also a software, there was a problem. The coding is so such that it is going away from the earth, not coming towards the earth. So uh, he is not panicked. Imagine the situation here alone above the earth. Traveling at 27,000 kilometers per second, right? Kilometer per hour is manually corrected the corrected the software and returns safely to the air. So after that, he is the first flight. After that, he is the only only and one first flight. After that, America did the same thing. How long? After 18 years, right? Uh, that is Sally Ride. He is our first American astronaut, woman astronaut. Who went by, who went to space after the 18 years of Valentina That is your remark. So, a lot of first are there. Then, again, there is a set satellite, and he is an American astronaut who was the first woman pilot and commander of the International Space Station. He became, he became an administrator of NASA also, which is sending So, like this, the, the female are not taking place in there. There are some people as not you can see, including our uh, our Kalpana Chawla. 
So it is this close. And the same time, you have to mention about the name. He is the first man who walked in this space uh, before America. Some three months before, they have completed the beat. He has walked in March 98, but in uh, American, he has not only in June. That's all. There is a, uh, there is a difference. Three months difference in itself. Alex C. Lenovo. 18th March 1965, he walked, uh, he outcome out of the space and, and last minute there was a problem, when he was re-entering, there was a problem in the space suit, it bulged and did not allow him to get in. Uh, so then besides his upper uh, so from that there are lots of space walks, uh, from my brain. So from the earth he will prove it is round. Uh, just like that, one by one, ten, they are the first uh, nine, ten people who went to the space. You can see that, Gagarin, Shepard, then Chrism, again the subordinate flight, right? This is also subordinate flight, this is also subordinate flight. Tito, uh, who uh, spent an entire day in space, is only one orbit, one day, by Tito, and clean. The first flight at orbit of one man from the Earth, first two years man who orbited the Earth is clean. We can compare it to Gagarin, G to D. Here also Gagarin to clean. Shepard and Chrism are, are, are subordinate Tito is the second man. So the four day flight, group flight with the first of four. So there is a uh, Soviet also done the first four, uh, four, uh, four day flight. Uh, the group flight, three groups man. Like that one by one, uh, Russia was in, is the first man. Uh, African uh, uh, race was, uh, was put in the space by USSR. So now let us see, they are doing their first one. There is a flint crew who has gone to the space with a spring source and they are going to take a movie in the space. Right. This is also Russia, the first two movie in space also going to be by Russia. Right. This is a movie source you can see. You can see that they are launched and they are going the dress and going and reaching there. So they are going for a movie in the uh, first two movie in the space. So always you see that the person walked with the Titan. This is called Titan. Uh, with this only they are walking. But there is only one person who had done that. It means like a net in the circus ring. Uh, there will be a below ring will be there in the circus net. No, like that is a net. Tether is a safety. But there is one man who went without any tether. That is this astronaut. As for astronaut, you can see 1984. He walked. This is a miracle. But you are done with the person's right? And lot of walk, so a couple to walk. That means one man and woman. So lot of walk was done. And there was a, in October 21. The uh, new space walks was there, but it is on Kundi. In our course at Jisik Maya, uh, both are women who went for a space walk. And now the tourists can also go for, go for a walk in the space in the future. That is called space tourism. So these are the first 10 people into the space. As you see, these are the first 10. As I said, Yuri Gagarin, Alan Shepard, William Jackson, ES, suborbital, again orbital, these are the first orbital ES. Then like that one by one they are the Mercury at last they went. I have told about him. This is a Sachira who went by all the three flights. Mercury, Gemini and Apollo. So like that the history started and there comes a man who was designing a missile in the, during the World War in Germany. He was designing a missile which was exceeding the Mach number one. The first missile which exceeded. And he has put around some 8,500 missiles on England sitting from Germany. So he is nothing but Mr. Bernard Van Brown, Dr. Space. Right? He is a prisoner. He became a project director. Oh, he was in the World War, he was developing. He was a German, and American and uh, Russian were in the same same front. And they are allied. But uh, when, when German was fall down, Hitler was fall down, then they went and uh, arrested him, and they saw. Lot of documents were around him. So along with him, 1,500 scientists reached America. Along with them, 300 documents, some documents went to Russia. With that only, somebody is telling they are uh, they developed their uh, vehicle. Uh, right, the first vehicle. So it went to NASA. They were uh, he was given a charge as a project director, and it became he developed a vehicle called Apollo. So we are entering into the Apollo era. So Apollo 1 to 4, 4 to 11, see, indeed, Apollo 8 is the first major lunar orbit, but in fact, yeah. Anything? I have to stop?
I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, okay. So Apollo 8 is the first lunar rocket. Then Apollo 11 which landed. Right, which landed. Apollo 10 almost without landing moon. Other things have been done. These are test regression, regression they were called. Apollo 11 is landed. Apollo 11 to 17. Seven weekly or so seven Apollos are supposed to land on the moon. And each Apollo, three people will be there. There will be command, service module and lunar module. Three modules will be there. Command module, service module, lunar module. Say command and service model combined known as CSM. Lunar module will land on the moon and command and service module will orbit the moon. So one Apollo will be in the orbit and two people will be landing in this moon. So around seven into two, it is 14 it should be. But Apollo 13 was, there was a problem with Apollo 13. So only six uh, Apollo lunar model only landed on the moon. And there were only 12 people so far landed on the moon. In 1972, he was the last man landed. And now it is almost 50 years. Now, no other 13th man is not landed on the moon. So this is current to the youngsters. So we, we will try our best. So it is all moon landing, we have to remember. The president, right, president of the country, John F. Kennedy. He is the man who declared we will go to the moon. But when uh, when he declared uh, this, they have uh, America has uh, have experience of only five minutes. Adam Shepard five minutes under the support like only. And America has not not that orbiter, astronaut has not that orbiter the earth. When he was declaring we will go to the moon. That is called the missionary. Right? So one party say. One president, one designer, Dr. Van Brown, one astronaut, Neil Armstrong, they have completed that moon mission. Right, we went to Apollo, let us see the Apollo thing. So Apollo was the right, and it was a very powerful vehicle. You can see, it is a very powerful vehicle so far designed. It can land on the moon with the 25, uh, 25 tons in moon orbit. Remember, we are not at sun, India has not at sun to more than 5 tons in the GTO or Leo. Right. So 25 tons at the time itself it launched it. The direct launch into the moon. That much powerful vehicle. Yes, but there was one vehicle started problem. So this is a lunar model what I am talking. This is a command and service model. This is a command, this is a service model. Where and from this lunar model will come down. Okay. So they will transfer here, only land on the moon, they will land here. So this was the idea. Yes, we landed in 19 July 20, 1969. Almost that also around some could be uh, could be could be two years over. The man who did this at Neil Armstrong. Again, he's a professor. He's a great man. Because he landed on the moon, first man to land on the moon. Aeronautical engineering BS, aerospace engineering in And he was a he was a student of Brude University. When he was doing the undergraduate it's only was called for a pilot. Why? He was very much fascinated about aero modeling and aeroplane. The man who got the pilot license, flying license next. So that's what I have. So he had a lot of age. 1930, just one year senior to Dr. Kram. He left the flying bank at age two. And he's also from Ohio, where Wilbur Albert Reich came up. So he was a non-fiction book and everything. So from the books, he got an knowledge and understood in the moon flying and he went. But his more passion is, he was a test pilot of uh, X-15-3 aircraft. Remember, you are the test pilot. Because at most it is a hypersonic, it touches the space so many times. That is one of the reasons he was selected to go to space, maybe. Very you know, gentleman, you can see that he is a part of nine. This is Mercury 7, by this time the Mercury 7 and Apollo next nine. Eh? These are Apollo 9. Right, in between Gemini is there. Okay. So you can see that these are the people who went by uh, right, the next nine. It is called next nine. You can see that next nine. New nine. Uh, sorry, new nine. So these are the nine people selected for moon the, from the class. They will uh, landing on the moon. That's what decided in the class. And finally, three people went. See, you can see that. Huh? See this picture and see this picture. Huh? They are in the dress. The desert in the, uh, they are in the Arabian dress in the desert and during the practice. He is a professor astronaut, Armstrong. He was uh, Apollo 13, but he was the uh, chairman of the failure committee of Apollo 13, uh, which went failure. 
and he was a disaster challenger sir satil 1980 space satil also paid you know he was the chairman and he was a man who designed the flight dynamics applied flight dynamics course he was taking classes also in the year he resigned in 1971 and he became a uh, professor at the university of cincinnati he is a professor as not a lot of things are there so he is a first bird he is a moon submar man he is a model as not he yeah, said to one small submar man one giant leap for mankind so i was told i have read so the, all the prices of color tv room rents vehicle car everything was going up radio transistor and everything was going up prices were going up before the landing of apollo but one thing was coming down one parameter was coming down that parameter is nothing but suicide rate so lot of people postpone the suicide when they have to see the moon and they are going to do that suicide they think that so they stop the suicide, suicide and saw the moon then only will die a uh, man landing on the moon, that is the motivation of the human. To say that it has come down. So that is the motivation by the When well, yes, it is a bird, mass are deemed it to be an American. You want to get a football, want to take a football there, but there is another man is there who take a softball in this. So bus are team. Dr. Renner is 90 years old, Dr. Renner was. He was an aeronautical engineer again, mechanical and aeronautical. He is also, and he has a whole different told he went Bazaar and Apollo 11. And these are the both things he went. I should say, Timmy is a training, eh? training vehicle for Apollo. So, Bazaar Thin, Michael Collins, he is a man who is a Gemini 10, he is a man who orbited, not landed on the moon. He went in Apollo 11, but not landed is Michael Collins. So, he is also recently died. Not a long age, he was recently died. And anybody remember this man? This man is a Yuri Green. He is a man lost, he is the last man to the moon. Okay, you know, first man to the moon. He is the last man to the moon. He can get in. Okay, so what happened? There was, this is a orbit, endeavor. That means you will start from here, one round, and you will depart, and you will, the flow will come out of the rocket, that end, and will directly go to moon and orbit. See the power of the rocket, so we will get the escape velocity. It will go. And orbit, this is a general rule. Uh, this was a trajectory plan. All the things followed the trajectory very nicely. And it was launched in a very super, uh, very exacted movement. You can see the president in the crowd watching the launching, right? Neil Armstrong. Yes, circuit, and that uh, there was a circuit program. It, uh, it, uh, it was in the firing ascent engine on that. In the lunar model, broke during the mission. Ascent engine means coming down. It is going to. It is going to ascend engine from the darling to the lunar. So he has put his ball point man and closed the circuit and start the engine. Otherwise, the two men must have left on the moon. Right. So this was the bus again. Again, you can see that uh, it is a heartbeat. They are also under very huge tension. You can see the heartbeat of Armstrong and his alternate is cool. Because he has to land the model at the correct place. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, because there is, uh, he is a pilot. Because the uh, initially prompt uh, places were full of rock. So he moved the uh, Apollo module to a uh, safe place by manually. Not by computer. Computer is overflowing, data overflowing, lot of oil is coming. So he got a 140, 150 is a heartbeat when he land on the moon. Right? This is I'm sorry, and Neil, uh, Neil uh, and then this one. So lot of people went. Then we left a lot of management at the moon. And this is the first Earth race was shot in 1969. And they took a photograph of the Earth race from the moon, like a moon race. First of all, and, uh, and the peculiar is all the people, all the photos, uh, Bashar Tin was there because uh, Neil Armstrong was only taken the photo. He forgot to take his own photo. So only two photos of Neil Armstrong moon is only available, one is coming down, another is in this vision. It is like a selfie he has taken. The first selfie on the moon you can see. Right. So we will see what is happened to the Apollo 13. So I said Apollo 13 was a failure, you note here, yeah, it's not bursting. So when it was almost, <coughs> as I explained, service module, command module, and lunar. This was only, when about some, 
50 minutes more left in the axis. So what do you see? And uh, just approaching the moon, almost uh, two lakh kilometers is there. They are approaching the moon. They started stealing the Cairo tank. So Cairo tank, this oxygen tank start bursting, and the power has come down, and the oxygen level has come down. So they reported to the ground. Ocean, we have we had a power. It's a famous word, and a movie also has come. So this was the situation you can see that. Right after some 56 hours, it happened. This action number two, which is busted. So ultimately, they all went to the it is lunar module, okay, and then required separate deep. And then the round the year, instead of landing on the moon, they changed the plan. This is one of the management, the problem solving method. So they allowed, instead of landing on the moon, they, they asked to round the moon and come back. They did that. So like that, they have did that. The cupid means only the power left out. And we have one over, this is not for three weeks. There is a small motor, they traveled in this, come back now. You can see how they have come back. There is a lot of tension mounted ground station. Because they are also watching what is happening. Because they are going to have the problem. Right, there are six, there are six are astronauts. And there is a caps communicator, capsule communicator is standing. So they finally formed, they have with this, they start playing this. Playing this, and they have come around the moon, they separated it out, then start rounding the moon, and come down safely like this. They enter the atmosphere, and the command model completely there, come down, and land them back. The cover, right? So they are waiting for the ship to arrive. They all uh, reach the land safely, and the hero is him blown. He is a bachelor of science, captain. He is not a postgraduate. He is a bachelor of science only, captain. And 29 days missions are Gemini and Apollo. Two times he went by Gemini. Two times he went by Apollo. So that's why right. Apollo 8 is the first vehicle which orbited there. He is the first man, man orbited the lunar uh, moon. Uh, and Neil Armstrong landed first one. So this is he was again. He was a, he had done lot of feats. He has already the 50 hours of space flight. Right. At the age of 42, he was selected. Most traveled in the history. Right. He went as a replacement for some other astronaut in Apollo 13 by chance. And he helped the Bashar team very much for training and everything. Okay, taking photo of other things, you can see that. So he was, they were awarded huh, beautifully when they come back with the Nixon. Huh, President took a photograph and give you a medal because for saving the Apollo. In this way, Apollo 13 has made a record. It is the furthest spacecraft which went away from the Earth, around some 4, four, la, four lakh something kilometer. Moon is 3 lakh 84, and it is more than moon in the went the other side of the moon. So these are the furthest humans who went away from the Earth still is the three people. So you can see a movie, Apollo 13, who said we have a problem. Just see that movie, it's a very good movie. Same thing, what happened to Apollo 13, you can easily see in the movie. It is a very good channel. Okay, right? These are the three of Alan Shepard. He is the Alan Shepard went by Apollo 14. What he did is, he was the first player man, golf he played in the movie. Right? He is the first, first player in the moon. So like that, there are a lot of astronauts, group of astronauts. These are, these are all Apollo astronauts, what we say. Meanwhile, these are Apollo duration. You can see that Apollo 11, 2, Apollo 1, there is a 10 days. This is the maximum by the Apollo sir. Right. Technology started uh, building up. And astronauts who walk around the moon are uh, still alive, but some of them are not alive. So these are people who walk around the moon are there, to out of the 12, and slowly, we have come to Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. Now it is space shuttle. We are entering the space shuttle era, space shuttle era. Meanwhile, we have to see some other people who died in the space also. Right? Vladimir uh, Kamarov. Vladimir is the first man who died in the space. That's also Russia. This is Apollo 1. These are the people where, where practicing, where, under the testing in the ground, they died. They are not died in the, right? There is a man, you can remember the criticism. Who was his first Gemini flight? Also, some problem was that some dead. I told you know, there was some problem. So he died when they are operating in the ground. Right? The lunar surface. Can I take some five minutes rest? 
I'll take some five minutes and come back and eh? bring something and talk. Yes. Yeah, Mostly aeronautical engineering, mechanical engineering. Huh? So it is a good number aerospace, aerospace and study. Right? Completely you can see that. Then became there, yeah, these are only six people driven rover on the moon. Yeah? Out of the astronauts, only six people were driven in the other world, in the moon. So then comes the space shuttle to the international space station. The destination of the space shuttle is to the international space station, not the international. The geo community, nothing. It is the study 450 kilometers away from the air, floating away from the air. The uh, floating lab, you can see that. 
So there are such long start going to the uh, space station. So space station, uh, it's an international space station, yes, yes. Lot of uh, record, 244 individuals so far has gone in four not to space flight. Seven people are currently the Two people have gone time, five times. Like that, there are some uh, 36 people married, 36 people went three times. 80 people married two times, they went to the Indian Space Station. So it is like a visiting place. Now it is not because of the army, it is because of the space station. Number of hours in the space station has come, come around, so a lot of astronauts can go. At the time, 30 people were there in the record. 30 people are in the space station. So number of 30. So it was a space station was built by 16 countries and visited by so many countries. So other countries, this many countries has visited. So they become astronauts. They became the people in their countries man has become the astronauts. Because they went to the International Space Station, and during this 1980, 85, after that, lot of, lot of uh, astronauts have gone, uh, were gone to the International Space Station, and space shuttle was operational up to 11 after the stop. So there was an accident, and the 80s so there was space flight was there. After that, a lot of flights were there to the uh, International Space Station. Lot of countries has gone, and they are not having their own. Uh, they are not going their own model, but they are still they have become the space uh, space persons they are carrying because of the international space station traveling space. Station. You can see the first uh, first operating moment in space, 1929 by Jensen. Okay, like that. So a lot of people make a short record. See, with the more time in space by nationality, you can see they are the people who spend more time in international space station other space this one or uh, more time in the space you can see 249 like that and we have india also can find karpana jawala was 31 days in the space that is just right anyhow more uh, more astronauts or young astronauts or aspiring astronauts are in india they are going to go to the space and back to the car right it's not international space station like this sorry astronauts who are gone this from uae recently has gone only seven days. So whatever that even one day it is a he went to space means he is a uh, astronaut. So but India is the only country which is not gone to the internet space station and we are going to be our own space station. There are the professor of aerospace engineering. He is also went to the space station. So civilians also has go. But meanwhile we lost some seven two flights accident was there. Seven seven people astronauts have died. Right? This, this one. And, uh, and automatically Space shuttle launches every year was coming down. After the 2011, this stopped. So only so is a vehicle which was supporting all these uh, all these activities. And the people made a record. These are the record holding people start spelling. Three party days in one state itself. Not two native state. Uh, record of life. You can see that more number of women are there than the men. So they are standing 289 days there. Uh, but you would Christina who are the community women's press one? Like that, you can see the Jessica Mayer. These are the people. Scott Kelly is a man. Scott Kelly is a twin. So, Mark Kelly and Scott Kelly. So, one man will be the yes, one man will be the space. The spaceman returns, they will come back and we will analyze what is the effect of space on the astronaut. For the reason, these people are like that. Right? You can see a lot of people. You have to see this window. In their, uh, day, in their year, he is spending the through his window. You can see that. That's all the only go. He come back with the success. And still, two days two days old is dawn, but yet. Right now, it is a uh, Vicky Wilson as a, it is a beaten. Vicky Wilson also beaten now. So, Vicky uh, Wilson. So, these are the cumulative days. Total number of days comes in, it is right. Currently, have only 520 days. By one day, one day stay, the country is more time in space in Russia and USA still. Then ESA, Japan, so that many astronauts have gone from this tour. <coughs> Two countries. Like this, lot of that is one by one, we can see South Africa, Korea, Bolivia. But well, mostly they are went to the international space station and became their first in there. But uh, this is uh, Astin Hatfield, one man. Yeah, um, 
He is the most popular man because of the Facebook and everything. He is taking classes. He is a communicator, teacher, engineer, science communicator, singer, everything. So he is a, he's a, one of the famous astronauts people know. Right? There are multi the bar, the other program. We are going to read by. Now he has come to the bottom of the age. There was a great rocket for race. That is, two billionaires are there now. There is two organizations, one goal, one year. They want to go to moon and Mars away. Right. See the SpaceX first one one and then they are in the first first commercial orbit and return is SpaceX. Right. This is on two zero one zero. So all the things are done. So SpaceX started. So there are yes, called SpaceX astronauts. So the lot of astronauts have started coming. They have started going here. Yes. Longest space flights are there. And you can see they're old and new. They're old and they have so they are combined there was a space flight, right? So the astronauts, they have gone in uh, space shuttle as well as SpaceX. You can see the difference between their uh, costumes. This is a space shuttle costume, this is a SpaceX costume. There are a lot of technology changes are also there. Right? This is what uh, the same people in uh, space shuttle and SpaceX. So there are two types of astronauts are coming. Boeing astronauts and SpaceX astronauts. That means Boeing also is a competitor to SpaceX to get the astronauts to the International Space Station. Uh, NASA has given contact for the both the people and uh, SpaceX has uh, succeeded. And maybe they have Dragon 2 and everything. They have placed these uh, astronauts in the International Space Station. But Boeing is still to me. You can see Sudhira William is one of the Boeing astronauts. So he is waiting for the time. Like that, four people have gone. The space group two, the group two have gone to the international space station by space. Right. So, in space, and for latest one by the latest astronauts is a civilian astronaut, and they also they believe that we are also astronaut. Right, the inspired four, they are the all the four people went by the space to the dragon to the uh, international space station. So, they are also telling we are also astronaut, even though we are civilian. Right now, the SN is going. A dollar SpaceX is developing SN to spend 100 people at the same time to the space or Mars or anything. Okay, right after 15 minutes, lot of technology is uh, developed. As you can see, so who is the who is the spare the most time is this man. And this is a strategic level, and all the things are in our is there are, are now. Today, but anyhow, there is a big event. Sir. The Bible is there. The more time in space is the record. And the big event sir, is a good in the record for more time in the space. So, this is, you can see the experiment all of space 50, 50, 52, 51, 5, 16, then long time player. So, he is a, he is a astronaut who went to more time in the space. At the same time, we can Krishna coach. Yes. And uh, breaking the Becky Wilson's record. And Krishna coach has been back into the other gear. So, this gear, this is a NASA astronaut, became first person to visit both space and ocean's deepest point. So, space, so many people have gone, and then 500 people have gone, uh, but well, only 8 people have gone to uh, deep to ocean point. That is the case, that is the event. Right? These are the space stories. Uh, the tourist people are going to the space. They are also called astronauts. And we have a astronaut for Moon and Mars. This is called Artemis astronauts. There are 18 people are there, 9 male and 9 female, if you count correctly. And one, one man, one, uh, one male, one female is going to uh, Artemis, going to Moon or Mars. So these are the future astronauts. We leave uh, the people are doing a lot of uh, records because by his support plane. So he has sent the four people. He is the youngest two men in space in the car. Oldest two men in space. Just one mother. So but it is somewhat different. So these are recording the oldest woman is gone, Lily Pang and Simon. Lily eh? Pang and uh, Oliver Demon. He is the man, the youngest man. But if we went for a support plane at the age of 18 years gone. So like that, but still the record is very bang is bridging there. Uh, John Green record, but John Green is full of it. 
it is the body. Right. So, this is the practice they are taking and the short track even now today. So, this is the practice and uh, they are now on today and the short track too has got. So, the latest today what happened. So, astronauts are coming and coming and definitely more astronauts will be coming. More astronaut ready. Now, how to become the astronaut is the next question. Soon we will do it. Okay. Then we will come to Gaganya. One minute. One minute. So, this is Gaganya. So, we have uh, a few months space and started. And uh, already we have uh, when Rakesh Sharma has gone in, so yes, I told you now, so it was helped in 1984, but in a Soviet uh, launch vehicle, not by our war. Okay, so like other countries. So, but India want to make our own, from our launch from our own place, India, yes, so but we are, manned mission is slightly unique, our government mission is unique. We are the first orbit of the Earth done by as you know, Yuri uh, Gagarin for one or eight minutes, and is the only one person. Even US also done by one person, John Plate. That is for three orbit. But we are going to send our country, the first country, which is going to send four people. We are four people to five to seven days, which any country has done so far. He has not done. So we are going to be in it, even though we are six years late. It is 1961 it happened. We are going to have a, make it happen. What has happened in 60 years back? Still, we are the unique with uh, uh, three to four people, five to seven days in the first attempt itself with one of the things very unique. It is no country has done that done. It is because of our technical and all our enthusiasm and motivation and uh, effective guidance of our Dr. Steven. We are uh, going to do that, but we are also going to send the Omaride first, first two flight. That flight will leave there, two Gaganyans are going to come, and now the mission training is over. They come back from Russia. So we are the, who is the person on Mars, and eh? 2030, maybe. Okay, but what is the next question? How to become an astronaut? That is our next lecture. Thank you. Any questions can be asked. This is our next lecture. How to become? An astronaut. Once you have seen this much astronaut, naturally the young student will have to become what to study for become an astronaut. We will discuss it. There are so many other type of astronauts also there. That will be two in there. How to become an astronaut is our next. Time. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Uh, for a great session, uh, we have got to know many important part about uh, the Vostok mission and uh, and how the entire mission was carried out. Our, our listeners had also got to know about uh, what are the space technology we had once and now innovation had, uh, had, had made it look like. So uh, I'd like to go through a few of the questions from our audience uh, and request uh, you, Professor Langovan, to answer some of them. Uh, may I, sir? Yeah. So um, just a second. in the spaceship while returning no, the microgravity all this radiation effect and how yes what is the first question Uh, yes, sir, just a second. Mm -hmm. 
so uh, the first question which i wanted to ask you is uh, uh, is uh, i mean uh, after the completion of uh, this uh, gaganyaan mission uh, what are the benefits we are going to get what is the uh, i mean pro, uh, uh, mission outcome of this gaganyaan space exploration mission? yeah it is first thing it is uh, it is we are going to move our technology in which uh, first time we are going to orbit the earth a man and indian is going to orbit the earth that is the big even in the first even is the we are as i said we are sending three people at a time and five to seven days in the first orbit so it will prove lot of our technical capabilities possible right like for the space craft right for the micro gravity all this radiation effect and how we serve the suit uh, the space suit that is a big technology is it really not space suit right so how uh, they will survive so this is a technological leap this is a once uh, uh, i think one week for gaganya is a big step for india we can say uh, for india <laughs> like that we can do it. mankind that is neelam sang say same thing we can uh, tell for this also the seven exactly. people on the uh, seven day it's going to be a big yes. for uh, india uh, that's it okay uh, so uh, thank you very much sir and uh, the next question is uh, uh on a human space flight mission if there will be any technical error in the space ship while return i told you no approach that in there was a technical error and our sir so ps only mission also one two not two we have got a technical error you know that not the shield didn't open okay. there are a lot of failures are also there even the apollo 1 it was testing in the ground itself got fired three people died and taking it they could communicate to the communication that they are alarming they are warming up fire fire like that nobody came for the rescue they only asked us uh, we are not able to communicate within ourselves how we are going to moon and like that he was commanding somebody was commanding at that time before that yes so there are a lot of design changes 1270 changes made after the taxi so like that so uh, yes so Uh, in the sense of innovation uh, what are the fields which are uh, which are more more vulnerable and uh, uh, require more innovation in that field in uh, in the sense of space exploration and uh, this uh, kind of uh, human space flight missions human mobility uh, the human safety right okay. they must reentry at most for critical point even separation is not that bad they have to come and uh, reenter and uh, you know the reentry is a major and uh, whatever Well, like uh, our control tower action also that happened in the DM. After spending 30 days in the space station, they come back. Then only they did that. And so re-entry is one of the major problem which you have to master. We have departed so many satellites out. No doubt, right? We have orbited so many satellites. In the right. past, we don't even mangle and level. But re-entry is uh, the first time we are going to see. That do human re-entry, not the satellite. It's a human re-entry. Satellite is a one of the other one. That's all I think. Other things so, like creating uh, a thrust, lifting off, and separation, and everything will be a hard air power. And we yes. will do the recovery rocket recovery system. Also, we will do right. The uh, launch escape system. These are some of the new elements we are going to do. Okay. So uh, the, the 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 next question is uh, for a return back uh, space mission, just like a uh, human space mission, which. Uh, we are planning to be going into the space and returning back to the earth uh, mm. what is the major challenge in uh, in the return journey except the heat challenge heat challenge we all know that uh, the heating effects is are there on the space uh, on the uh, uh, in uh, capsule while returning into the atmosphere so uh, kind of uh, what is the challenge with, except this heat challenge what is the uh, what are the challenges which we face well, living in space right living in space Right, it must separate it correctly. They must orbit the Earth in the correct orbit. Right, they should not uh, come back down. Right, that is the major one. Uh, Land escape is also as a function. Understand why? Or the uh, I think that is a major. Major is the spacesuit environment. Right, we are first time we are going to design the spacesuit. And the food and the space food, space medicine. There, uh, all the things. Uh, space medicine is coming now into the picture. Professor Jha is one of the in charge for this selection. Their psychology training. First time we are training a man. There is no training facility here. We are training them in the uh, Russia. 
let us as if you train them or our the gear itself the simulation of the moon all the all the things are there so all, all are almost new so excited you want to see yeah. all things are new for india so uh, thank you very much sir uh, okay. for your time and uh, fruitful answers to our audience's question uh, i would also like to thank our listeners who have joined this event today uh, thank you very much all and uh, i hope